Yami, I came over last night and Kasim rented the YouTube boxing matches, like the str- oh Logan Paul or something. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we watched uh, the Ooh. boxing match. And the whole time he was like, man, if I was in there, I'd be fucking bop, bop, bop. Like, I would fucking crush these guys. Like, and so we think the next one, we're, we're going to try and get our boy Cass in there. Oh. The, real sto- the real story was, was it you- came over and he was like, <laughs> you need to be doing this. <laughs> and I want to be your cut man. Yeah, I want to be his corner man. Is it YouTubers versus YouTubers? <sighs> no, they've transcended oh. YouTubers. They the, the Paul brothers have transcended. Oh, there's two of them? Yeah. And, and now Logan and Pete now Jake, Jake and Logan are considered like almost Jake is a a professional boxer now. Yeah. And the other one fought Floyd Mayweather. So yeah, the second first and second biggest pay-per-views of the year have been both Paul brothers. And last night he said, I retired Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. (laughs) He had LCD screens on his shorts. That said his name just over and over and over. They would like screens on his shorts. Yeah. It's like a ticker tape thing. Dude, you're talking to me, tech guy. I'm worried. I was worried about the LCD cracking. They're probably heavy while he was like, you know, doing his thing. You'll be amazed what they what they can do now. I like your uh, bang drink right there. I was me and Rob just got home from shopping and I needed a quick pick me up. Where were you shopping? We went to uh this place K I T H, which is wonderful. Kith. Yeah. Yeah. He won't you call guys it Kith know, because wait, he thinks it's Do you sounds... not know? It's the worst sound in the world. I won't oh say the name. Oh my God. Wait. Do you know that Cutter and I almost got divorced over oh, the, the way he says that fucking word? Oh. He, what does he say? Kith? He, Congratulations. No, I'm he, bringing this up. He, this is going to be a great story for the pod. He loves, he loves their like ice cream or whatever they fucking have yeah, there. Yeah. Treats. Yeah. There you go. And he's always like, when we used to live in West Hollywood and we would drive by it, uh, they have one, I think, like up on La Cienega and Sunset. He'd be like, oh, do you want some? Oh, I can't even say it. It sounds like a fucking yes, shivers. Cream. To- kith treats. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, what'd you say? And he was like, kith. I was like, oh, never say that again. See, I know what makes like you talk about combo. I know what gets chicks wet. Yeah, and saying that word doesn't. That's why I say K I T H. Because he kept saying, I "You want to go to like, K I T H?" I'm like, "Kith." Thank you, Rob. It's uh, terrible. Stop. Everything I do is for the ladies. <laughs> he was doing it so much, I didn't know if he actually knew what it was called. I'm like, "What is it called?" He's like, "I just say K I T H because I don't want to say the other way." Nope. I'm in tune with what the ladies want. Speaking of what the ladies want, Jamie, uh, Casim doesn't know this either. I have a costume change for both of us right now. I have a full on. I don't know about this. We're about to, we're about to show. You're about to see. I love uh, it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. We'll, we'll be right back. We're gonna change, and you're gonna. Oh, see. Oh, already? Gonna, yeah, yeah. We're gonna change right now. What okay. Do you mean? We're both okay. going off the. Yeah, pod. yeah. Okay. We're gonna get you. We want your reaction live. Wait, so. and then okay, and then after I'm gonna Facetime Cutter and just ask him what is the thing that I hate that you say and see if he's done okay. it. Perfect. And ask him why we're wearing what we're wearing. He thinks. All right. We'll okay. be right back. Okay. Bye. Here we are. Wow. Wow. Oh, Rob. Whoa. You even have it very unbuttoned. This thing, I don't even think it's meant to be buttoned. What's on your shirt, Cass? What Rob's got some dragons. What do you have, Cass? Mine's got um like little trailers. And you oh, cute. Oh, oh, really? Cute. It's yeah, full on. It. Oh, there, yeah. That's full on cast trail. He has a trailer in his backyard, and there's UFOs on the thing. Yeah. All right. Did you guys just buy these? No, we just bought a whole bunch of other we stuff. We bought other stuff. <laughs> we're but preparing. I we're trying to give the fans. <laughs> look at look at look this. We're great. Fucking, we're fucking podding. I dude. feel really bad about my outfit, but I'm in a hotel. I have you nothing. Look, you look great. You look great. Don't let anyone tell you. I'm not otherwise. fishing for a compliment. I'm just saying I have nothing. Nasty we're list. we're not uh jumping on your hook. How's that? Yeah. We're just giving you the compliment you deserve. All you right. Wanna, okay. Yeah. Fine. You didn't so you didn't catch us. <laughs> Feels so You sexy. guys look great. Let me try this button. I feel like Yeah, this is what You look great. Gotta you you got to get me one of those gold chains. <laughs> yeah. You got 25 hundo? Really? Yeah, I got this in Vegas after a good night of poker. Oh. This is uh, well, you didn't I mean, just I buy that. You owned that already. 
I've had this for years. Yeah. I just never, yeah. I'm always, you always see me in my pajamas. Damn. I really actually like this look on you, Rob. Yeah. I mean, listen, if I ever fucking didn't wear pajamas, this would be, yeah. This would be what would be yeah. going on. Dude, like we it. are. I would, I would put a shot it. of that in your, in your Tinder profile. Yeah. If Kasim's going to have to take a, uh, and how dare you, Tinder? I'm on fucking Raya. Raya. The- <laughs> Cats was gonna take a picture of me out out back by the by the trailer. Oh, right cute! I, I mean, I just made that up. I don't know, but no, no like, we can do that. Hold on, I wanna I wanna call Cutter and I wanna see if he if he follows through with this. Hold on. Yeah. Hi, I just have a question. First of all, can you see the guys' shirts? Yeah, what are they? <laughs> amazing. Aren't they great? They're amazing. Okay, I have a question. What's the dessert in LA that you always wanted that I hate that you say the way you say it? Kids treats. <laughs> That's what me and me and Rob went there today. The, him and Rob went there today no, and Rob no, won't no. say the word because he's like this place that I won't say it K-I-T-H. I was like, I know why you won't say it. It's so good. Kids. Ah! Okay, bye. I love you. I want to stay married. I gotta go. Bye. All right, Yami. So now that we're now that I'm dressed like a scumbag, I'm gonna ask some some scumbag questions again. Oh, if you're a scumbag, what am I? You're like a cool geek. The same thing you were earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about now? I, the I just, um, microphone's really getting in the way of me looking super sexy. Again, we have we were heavy on sex when we were all in the same room. We talk about sex a lot, a lot of stuff. We've gone away from it, but Yami Lee, I've I've got some real. So here's what I did. We gotta talk, Jamie. Here's what okay. I did. I went to a porn website and I looked up wow. some porn categories and I want to say them to you and find out what you think they are. Okay. 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 So we'll, we'll, we'll start easy, right? BBW. You know what that is, right? BBW. But something. But beads. But yeah, but beads. What's the W? But beads. <laughs> Within wide, <laughs> but beads wet. was wide, <laughs> but beads wide. But we, but well, you, wide. you got the first one. <laughs> but it's really but. No, no, no. no. It's oh. big, beautiful women. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought it was. Oh, like, oh, oh. Okay, so that's. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like you touch, you touch the three lines, and it shows you the categories to go to. Big, beautiful woman. Oh, well, how how does it work, Jamie? When you go to a porn site, where do you what do you do? <laughs> I was just thinking it was saying general. Oh, okay. Uh, my head went completely wrong. I was, my head went to a sex toy website. You're talking about porn videos. Yeah. Yeah. Porn Rewind. videos are categorized. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No, yeah. no, actually so no, like, no problem whatsoever. Like on Netflix, it's like action thriller. Yes. Got it. Got it. Got right. it. Okay. I'll be better now. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the next one. What is um, CFNM? I don't know this. Yeah, I didn't know it either. C F N M. Yeah, <laughs> she needs her fingers. C F N M. It's either cunt or cox. Right. Okay. No. Maybe we for, won't let you get the full name out. For naughty men, naughty men. Cunts oh. for naughty men. <laughs> that's close that's close. yeah we got to get you your own site because this is better than what is it's and this is like flaps cunt flaps <laughs> near near men <laughs> near my mouth <laughs> near mouth uh so this is what it really is which i've never heard of i thought it was insane clothed female naked male and like some people i guess are really into like the woman it's very all okay. of her clothes Clothed, Which is weird. That just sounds like both uh, female, naked male. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that just sounds like gay porn if you're a man watching that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, so here's a how about everyone's clothed like, except for the men. Right. Right. That's got to be for gay. That's got to be for the. It was our, like our me and you buddies. in the dressing room at KITH. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, now we're gonna get. It's gonna get a little creepy now, Yami. Uh, oh. The next one, cr- cream pie. Cream pie? <laughs> yeah, yep. what's a cream pie, Jamie? What's a cream pie? Yeah. yeah. It's an it's a sex act. Well, let's just, it's, let's just it's when a man cu- it's a man like ejaculates into a like a bowl and the woman eats it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, Isn't no, no. okay. Um, no, you're actually I thought you were going to say what it is. 
It's oh. when a guy comes in a puss. Yeah. Oh. Cream pie. And then like usually like they'll zoom in and like. How do they get the out. camera in there? How do they get the camera in there? Well, the girl oh, will the push after. it out. Our innocent Jamie. Our innocent Jamie Lynn. Yeah. Aren't you happy you ate before the pot? It's like we're talking to Bo. I feel like Bo <laughs> would be better at this. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Jack is like, yeah, it's a big, beautiful woman. What are you thinking? <laughs> Um, and then Yami Lee, which is even cooler. There's so cream pie, and then there's another section with in in parentheses. It's cream pie accidental. Oh, so oh. it's where? Oh my god, I can't believe I did. And then the girl's like mad that you came in the put. It's fucking, oof. it's wild. Now, now we get to the fun section. Accidentaldaddies.com. There was a section called cake farts. What do you think that is? You looking like Bo big time right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. cake farts. Is that like a shark situation? I this one's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, it's actually when girls Oh, take- when a, someone farts when there's a pee a penis in the butthole. Yep. <laughs> 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 oh, you have the best explanation. No. So what it really is 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 women take chocolate cakes and they sit on it and put it all over their butt and then they fart so it looks like poop. <laughs> and people want to watch videos of this? It's crazy. And then the guys will start like doing stuff. Like it has it. its own section. There's so many of videos of this. Yes. And I could not believe when I saw it. And I'm like, that's the winner. Yeah. What a world. What You're a getting world. the visuals of poop play, but you you the taste of all right. Nice smell. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've been off sugar for a week, so I think I'd rather poop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, you know what J O I is? J O I, jizz. Got to be jizz, right? It's got to be jizz. There's jizz only one J on it. Jizz, jizz on, on it. it. Jizz on it is a great. <laughs> that's pretty guess. good. Yeah, yeah, that's a great name for a pod too. I think <laughs> if it's a category, maybe it's jizz on India. It's like different. It's a whole series of just jizzing on things. Yeah, jizz uh, on it. Jizz on this pod. You you know what J O I is, right? I don't think so. Oh, really? So a J-O-I is jerk off instructional. And so it's a girl and she walks you through every single thing. Like, okay, now sit down on the chair. Now, like rub, rub over your pants. And she, oh, pro, some guy's probably doing that out there right now. Oh. My dad's driving to work, rubbing his cock. So yeah, Fart really Simpson just took those, those sound bites for me. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, uh, and it walks you through the whole, all of it. And then even like, we'll tell you like, don't come. Yet, like, and now, and it'll be like, go oh, faster, okay. go slow, take your handle, like the whole fucking thing. A tease, a tease. Yeah, all of it. And then, so this one I wrote down. I don't even know what this means now. Does that say lacrosse? No. This oh, is what, this oh, is oh, what I, I see. It. it says to me, lacrosse, pres, burrito. Right. That's what I swear I thought it said, pres, burrito. So <laughs> it says uh, uh, one of the categories was lactating. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not into that, but yeah. I yeah. You know. Yeah, it. it happens. It happens when you're having sex and nursing. For, Love for, how honest you are when it comes to this stuff, because, you know, this, these are things we don't know about, you know, but well, there, there a is a common thing that happens to women. It, it, it happens. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, there's a whole group of guys that love drinking breast milk, too. You know, I'm not, it's I don't apparently, know about Well, that. look, I mean, if your kids are drinking it, it's obviously really good for you. It makes babies grow like it yeah. has so much good stuff. It's not like you're going to get sick if you drink it. They should but, use that in the next K-I-T-H treat. Breast, breast milk. Treat. Yeah. C- cereal breast milk. They're going to call it <laughs> Tiffy milk. Anyone? Is this I song? hear it tastes like work? I hear it. <laughs> is this I milk? hear it. I hear it tastes like um like vanilla <laughs> almond milk. Yeah. I mean, listen, if, if, if I ever have a kid, I would try my wife's. I don't care, but I'm not just trying some like random. I would no, try Jamie. Try- I would try Jamie's. Oh, I you would have tried my breast milk. I wouldn't try your breast milk. No, easy. No. Easy. Yes. For me. I'd take a shot of it. Really? Of course. I would try any girl on rise. <laughs> <That's breast milk. laughs> to be honest, I would try most women's breast. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, no, I feel like I could do it because I know kind of what you eat. You know, you're like a, you're like an animal. I, I like watch 
out there. You're not taking any weird antibiotics. I, you know, I got, so if you pump out some milk, I'll drink it. I know. Oh, I did, I did get the jab though. <laughs> <laughs> she got the jab. Uh, Time for an ad. Attention listeners across the galaxy, all the way from <laughs> Australia to Houston. Do we have a pube problem? Beep, 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 beep. If so, our friends at Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their fourth generation and brand new lawnmower 4.0. 4.0? Yeah, we're up to four now. And I have it. It rocks. That's Kick how long pubes. we've been around. Yeah. We've been around since, what was it? 1.0 or 2.0? 2.0. Kick your pubes to the next planet with the performance package 4.0. The orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming. Join the two million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code pajama. Yami? That's right. Inside this package, you will find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, their weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, the crop preserver ball deodorant, crop mm. reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your whole solar system. Oof. So you guys, this fourth generation trimmer also features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. And the lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor. It's like a professional power tool. It's a new multifunction on-off switch can engage a travel lock and it's even waterproof. What need we say more? Just get 20% off plus free shipping off this amazingness with the code pajama at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code pajama at manscaped.com for a clean Trinity and beyond your space balls. Well, thank you. Uh, guys, I love Headspace. I use it. Uh, I've been Talk using it, it every Rob. day. I've actually had like a problem focusing lately. I've been noticed when I watch like TV shows or movies, I just can't focus. And I think it was because I was going, we were going a little crazy on the dating apps there for a we, while. And they, <laughs> we couldn't stop. Yeah. So I, I got, they have um, a package that you do and it's like to focus better. And what they teach you is instead of trying to focus better, you don't do that. You have to address what the things are you're being distracted by. I'll let them do it. Wow. It was incredible. I actually finished it today. Uh, really great. I, I love Headspace. It's the first meditation app I ever used and I still use it uh, now. And yeah, they have a whole library, you know, whether you're having trouble sleeping like Rob yeah. for focusing, it's, you know, the only meditation app that's advancing the field of mindfulness and meditation through clinically validated research. So whatever the situation Headspace can really help you. And it's helped all of us. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in a form of a guided meditation in an easy to use app. I have the app. Uh, it is like a, a muscle you have to work yes. on. You know, I noticed that uh, when I first started, they give you like your first 10. And by the end of that 10, I felt like there was a marked improvement over where I was yeah. when I started. It, it is really crazy. This thing that where you just kind of sit there and try and not do anything, how um, difficult it was for me in the beginning and how it gets easier with some help. You deserve to feel happier. Then Headspace is meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash pajama. That's headspace.com slash pajama for a free one month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. This is the best deal offered right now. Head to headspace.com slash pajama. Back to the pod. So this does not say President Burrito. What it says is pregnant Bumble because I got a girl request me on Bumble who is pregnant. Oh, I remember. Is she a surrogate? No, this is actually a very funny. No, no, no. She was just, the one you showed me. Yeah, yeah. Like she, she's pregnant with her own child. Yeah, her profile picture was her sideways with her shirt up and the belly out. Like it was a full on fetish thing. And she's like, I'm into. Like, I want to get fucked by different guys while I'm pregnant. Wait, so did you, did you mess, did you message this girl? No, have a conversation? Oh. no way. Why? Not for the sake of the pod. What? Oh, I can't, I can't. I, I, I need, I, can't. I need to know everything about this girl. Yeah. I, I don't want to know, know anything. I, I want to keep her far away from my phone. That's one thing I never really got with, you know, I can appreciate a lot of fetishes that the, the pregnant, the pregnant chicks is, uh, 
there's a psychological wire cross that's going on in that guy's head that's not okay. Unless they're really pregnant and you could like hold on to the to the belly while you while you pump. Hold on to the belly while Cutter you did pump. not Cutter did not like having sex with me when I was pregnant. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do he it. He didn't either. want to hurt his sons. Right. And it's very yeah, and it's hard because for me, so I was probably the horniest I've ever been pregnant. Oh. Man, listen to that. Everyone's listening to this right now. Everyone's I've been rock hard for 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> ever since I put this shirt on. <laughs> I, so I put this shirt on and I just torqued. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Uh, all right, Jamie, if you had to guess what before we put we'll do before we put these shirts on and then after before we put these shirts on, what kind of porn would you guess that I watch and what kind of porn would you guess that our boy Kasim watch? Oh, that's a good question. OK, so here's the thing. I don't know. And before the shirt, like, I don't know anything about porn. So I'm taking like wild guesses here. Rob, I think you like like girl on girl. I think you like. Mm. um, I think you like very well lit and well shot high, (laughs) high production value porn. Little talking right to it. Kasim, I think you like the ones that have scenes and a plot line. And yeah, <laughs> that's I guess. Yeah. Okay. I, well, that's a good how, like. Like I, that's a good I guess. Am? Yeah, I mean, if this was like twenty five years ago, those would be like two of the four types of porn that are out there. But there's the you know, hundreds. Yeah. There's. I mean, think about some of this stuff, right? CFN. Like, there's right. everything is out there. Um. I. So I what don't do you even, like? I don't even know that there's options anymore. I mean, of course there are, but like, there's nowhere to go to find like. Oh, 15 minute preamble of like, hey, this is like nowadays right. when people are acting, it's like 30 seconds of like, hey, mom went to go get the groceries. It's like, shut up and suck my dick. Like, yeah, that kind of shit. You know, we're part of the generation that when we were younger, the only porn available was like, you know, either in magazines or on VHS. And um, a lot of, you know, a lot of you that are listening to this, you know, porn started on film in theater. You had to go to a theater to watch it. Shout out to Pee Wee Herman. Shout out Pee Wee Herman. Um, mm-hmm. And then when it when it came out to VHS, by the way, VHS and Betamax, there was a war of formats. There was home video came on two form Betamax, VHS. The reason VHS became the standard was because porn backed VHS. That's why we all have VHS or had VHS in our homes. But when we wanted to watch porn, we had to go rent tapes or we had to like borrow them from our horny friend's you know, the ones that had the horny dads that had like a, a pile of them. That's you, when I saw my first one. Oh, yeah. You got and you my all friend's some, horny dad. We stole it and watched it for like five minutes. And we were like screaming. Do you horrified. remember the title of it? No, because they all had there was there was some story to these and there was like a little bit of production value. But there was also a lot of like fast forwarding you had to do because there was a sort of ramp up to the sex act. There was some dialogue that happened. I have come so far away from that. Now I just like to watch dirty, like filthy shit. And it's got to be instant. You know, it's like gonzo. It's got to be like almost homemade now. I think porn has really. I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but I think it's really fucked up sex for people. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100% agree. You're not going to get in trouble for it. No, that's why. I think it's really like. Uh-oh. This is where Dr. Drew would would totally hard agree with us. I think it's really fucked up people's expectations, yeah. like how it has to be, how it like it's and it's and it's bad. It's really bad for people's relationships. I understand it's in this industry and there's like this need for it for some, but like I just don't like how it's affecting things. Also, if you're a guy and you're growing up watching porn, you're like, oh, everyone is nine inches. You know, like it gives you some really <laughs> fucked up sort of expectations around what's considered normal. Everyone, every guy's walking around with a nine, 10 inch penis and every chick can swallow a penis without gagging. And she has to spit on it for it to be a normal blowjob. Like there's so many things that go on in pornos that don't really happen. And I mean, spinning is cool. That's fine. You can I, I, actually, man. I actually enjoy that. Yeah. But there's a lot of things. Like, what's her, Gianna Michaels? Do you remember her? It's my favorite. You watch Gianna Michaels do porn, and mm-hmm. you're like, oh, this chick is going to beat the fuck out of me. Is this how I'm, am I supposed <laughs> to be 
like beaten up during sex? Is that is she supposed to make those sounds? Well, that's oh, yeah, ruining yeah, it for yeah. little boys. Yeah, sometimes that's how they're learning about sex. Not oh, this, imagine not you this have little sex. boy. Yeah, <laughs> imagine you have sex with uh, somebody with the first time you've been watching uh, pornos uh, for a few years, and you have your first sexual encounter, and the chick doesn't say anything, and you go, "Oh no!" What if she's just a quiet have sexer? You know, just a quiet bird. You know, not all not all the chicks are Gianna Michaels, is what I'm saying, and not all guys are nine inches. You know, these two guys are. <laughs> That's right. What's it? Somebody else here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it does. It does. Fu- it does fuck up. It. it does fuck shit up. And people that take like you know breaks from porn, I think, are healthier. Uh, if you're just constantly stimulating, you need more and more. It's like drugs. You need more and more weird, fucked up shit uh, to get you off. And we used to do right. this thing where we used to masturbate with our imaginations. You know, yeah. remember yeah. that? I remember watching Channel 35 in New York, the Robin Bird show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. On the public access channel. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem was. so I thought this was this. Show. If you called me Bird, we would be the Robin Bird show. <laughs> yeah. There was a, um, a it's like a woman would strip on her show and then a guy would strip. So you'd have to make sure to get your nut out while while the girl was like halfway through her stripping because you didn't or else you'd once, be gay once she was gone. Then some dudes fucking rolling up. Wow. There was a show where the, just a guy would strip and a girl would strip huh? and they on would like take, a public like, channel. It was really? at like 11 o'clock at night or something like that. Yeah. And then they would have these commercials in between. It was like called five, five, five. Oh, Juice yeah. for like once whatever. once yeah. it hit like 10 30 or 11 all the i every fucking commercial was a sex line like us a, a whatever a sex yeah. hotline yeah, yeah see that's and, and what we we're talking about before with sex is like i know some people don't like to talk to their like boyfriend or girlfriend or the girl they're having sex or whatever about uh the sex and this but you have to because otherwise it's like not only do you see shit in porn that girls don't like but the last girl that you were dating, there's going to be things that she loved that this girl will fucking hate. And this, and it's like, I don't know, like people just find it yeah. awkward to talk about where it's like, it's great if you get it out of the way. So then when you're fucking, it's like, it's, it's all good. You know, there's yeah. just, there's some girls right. who like crazy shit. I mean, guys too, obviously, but sometimes I'll ask a girl when I first am encountering her in the bedroom, I'll be like, Hey, what do you like? Do you- That's what I'm saying. You yeah. Do? yeah. Because it, yeah, because like some every girl, every person's different. Everyone's a little special. Little What's some thing. crazy things you've heard or or what are some answers? Um, Not you know, you. a lot <laughs> got someone else. <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of girls like a little bit of naughty, dirty talk. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of girls. But I'm I'm talking about like. That and then also physically what I need to be doing, you know, like when I'm going down on you, do you need? You're like, hand? give me, you need, you're like, give me an outline. Do you have like, inside orgasms or is it an outside stimulation orgasm? Like, how are? Do you like your nipples rubbed or pinched or how hard? Where you know you like, don't like to like find that stuff out. Like see, that kind, happening? that kind of stuff. I do. I'll sometimes just do. sometimes I'll find out, but I like to like make sure I'm doing it right. You know? I, I prefer that kind of stuff to just do and get a feel of like by her reaction. Yeah, that's like I some mean, of the fun fun of it is when you're sleeping with somebody new is like learning in the moment. Sh- sure. Yeah, this is it. I'm not saying I do this like on like this is not a form. I have them fill out before our first sexual <laughs> encounter. But like, you know, this there is a little it bit sounded of a, like it. Yeah. No. Well, you know, I I've just sent a few like, of those out. No replies. You know, there's a lot of dudes who date women who maybe like to be fucking slapped or choked or this. And you don't want to then assume that the next girl you're with, like the, especially the first time you sleep with her, just like, Oh yeah, she probably likes what the last girl. Right. right. And then just go into doing that. Cause it could end very bad. Yeah. Yeah. You got to start fresh, clean sheet. You need clean sheet on both clean slate. Yeah. And a clean sheet. You need a clean sheet. Yeah. In the bed. And personally with the relationship clean slate, yes. clean sheet i'm just gonna go clean sheet for both mm, okay i want a clean sheet and a clean sheet yeah you want to leave with a clean rap sheet too so clean you gotta ask some girls you know? like the bad boy with a with a rap sheet a dirty one yeah but you don't want to get it from the encounter is what i'm saying that's true you know what i mean 
go now we could get off the sex stuff great. Kaz. she was doing so good she was great that's why you I have g- to you, you gotta you know jamie's really good at it yeah she's amazing <laughs> One to ten, how good are you at sex, you think, Jamie? And then feel free to toot your own horn. That's good. I think it's varied with what's going on in my life, my age. Yeah. Like you have you I'm have the at. capability to be a 10? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. A 10? That's crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How I mean, low could you go? What's your 10? What are you meaning? Like I have to be porn star crazy? No, like, no, no. That doesn't just, have to be just 10. a 10. Like a guy would come out of a room with you and be like, that was a fucking 10 experience for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. you oh, yeah. fucking the Jamie, Jamie Lynn. Lynn huh? Huh? Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Some guys just need a wet hole for it to be like a nine. I, I don't believe that you're a 10 and you didn't know what cake farts was. <laughs> Any girl who's a 10 knows exactly what cake farts I'm an are. old school 10. Yeah, I'm an old right. school 10. You're a traditional. You're a Jersey 10. Jersey you're a 10. Long Island 10. I'm a Long Island 10. Yeah. All right. So, Cass, if you were, to, if somebody's going to say to you, hey, I want you to open a hotel that's yeah. going to be a themed hotel. Sure. What do you want your, what's your theme? Well, I know a lot of people right off the bat are going to think it's going to be like extraterrestrial or like some sort of cryptid type place that's look not- in the look in the thing no look in the in the shop. big foot big yeah foot. that's what a lot of people think but if i was yeah. doing a hotel i'm a child of hospitality my father worked in hotels his whole life i would do something very different what would it be i'm not i wouldn't do comic books and ufos rob i'm just pointing out what's in your room Dude. but this isn't a hotel okay this is my office Stop I look- yelling you yell at me a lot today yeah really You're giving me a taste of my own medicine yeah. <laughs> i would do something like uh like the great Gatsby. Okay. I'd have very it'd be oh, high end. Fun. It would be chandeliers, fountains, you okay. know, there would champagne be a lot pain everywhere. There'd be champagne. There'd be one restaurant. You can only like be in formal wear to get into, you know, black there'd tie, be ball, a big ball, a black tie. Yeah. So it's like Monaco. I've never, I wouldn't know. I've never been, I haven't had that luxury as well, a non TV star. Jamie gets it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jamie's a fucking 10 in the bedroom. I'm a fucking 10. Like Monaco fucking yeah. hotels. Or it would be very uh, beachy. Um, you can wear like a Hawaiian shirt all day, you know, like resort, beach resort. And, you know, this is like, like, right. We would be wearing this. We could wake up, wear this, go to brunch, lunch, dinner, beach, zip line, ATV tour. Super cash. We could do it Super all in cash. this shirt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, something easy. So you wouldn't have, I would, I would have, you know, I would actually, you know, have different hotels with different themes because it would obviously, I would have more than one because I'd be very successful at it. That's and everyone name. would be like, everyone would be like, well, what's he going to come up with next? Yeah. 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 I'd be like He's the like Elon the Musk Disney. of hotels. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. Even that. I'd have a space <laughs> one. Then I'd do like, oh, then he's doing one with ufos oh there's a whole you the whole center of the hotel's a ufo crash site right yeah alien yeah. bodies you're having dinner you're, you're eating like weird green jello you know slur- <laughs> oh the club is called area 51 you know like hey, you gotta have a a, a scanner and put your fingerprint and eye you know scan to get oh, in here there's he goes thing yeah yeah and then and then there's gonna be a, a, a tropic like the rainforest cafe, but it's like Bigfoot's walking around serving you fucking you know, hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah, I thought you'd like this question. No, there has to be like Bigfoot sightings within the hotel. Like every day, there's a Bigfoot that kind of like walks <laughs> around, and like you're like, "Wow, I saw it today!" And like, then every morning, today? every morning you get a newspaper. Yes, and, yes. And the, and the headline: <laughs> Have you seen where he was sighted? <laughs> If your kid that, spots a Bigfoot, guess, you can win a prize. He gets interviewed for the paper, and they're on the paper the next day. Everyone I mean, takes this it is home as a souvenir. Pajama pants, a hotel. We should yeah. do this. Think of the client. You have to think of the clientele you're going to be attracting, and that would be the biggest white trash sort mm-hmm. of magnet, you know. And guys or, from Jordan, or, or, <laughs> or our podcast fans. Yeah, yeah, geez. Casim's fans. Yeah, what would yours be then? Rob and I would just be in the theater ready to do a live show every night of this podcast. Yeah, you'd be, be my a huge draw. You'd have a residency at the crypto hotel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, was, a- I swear that was I was just gonna think. No, uh guys, if you're if you're trying to look uh to use products that are safe in your house or even you and you mm. don't want to uh be a negative impact on the environment, Grove right. is uh a sponsor that we have and they're amazing and we're using all of their products now. Tell them about it, Emily. 
Yeah, well, by now, most of us understand the importance of using natural products in our homes, but where do you find them? How do you do the countless research to know what's right? Don't you wish there was someone who would curate all of the highest quality, natural, and sustainably sourced items you need? Introducing Grove Collaborative, guys. This is what we're talking about. They, it's the online marketplace that delivers natural home, beauty, and personal care products directly to your door. It's a healthy lifestyle that makes it easy and accessible for everyone in your family. Right, Cass? Yeah, uh, I actually have the, uh, it's like a uh, orange citrus, like, counter spray that I use. It doesn't have any of the harsh chemicals that you'll find. It's like one of those things that um, it's an easy thing to do and to sub out and it still does a really good job cleaning. It smells great. And then like the spray bottle they give you, it just, everything they sell just looks good in your kitchen. If you care about stuff like that, like I do. Right. And they have their own line, but then they also have stuff like seventh generation and the, Mm -hmm. the products that you know, Choosing products that are better for you and the planet has never been easier. For a limited time, when our listeners go to grove.com slash pajama, you will get to choose a free starter set with your first order. Go to grove.com slash pajama to get your exclusive order. That is grove.com slash pajama. Okay, Mint Mobile. Guys, uh, I'm, I Mint Mobile. So when I see Mint Mobile, my problem is I'm grandfathered in on my plan on my phone. I wish I wasn't grandfathered in because these guys do fifteen dollars a month, and it's it's an incredible service. I wish I wish I had this. Yeah, you're getting ripped off by your old fine print contracts, the big wireless providers, and if we've learned anything, there's always a catch. So when we first heard about Mint Mobile offering premium wireless service starting at just fifteen dollars a month, like Rob said, we thought, what is the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it has made total sense. There isn't one. Mint's mobile secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. So by cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in a form of a mystery fee. Instead, Mint just passes on the savings directly to you. That's right. For people looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone number with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same number along with all your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service just for 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, Go to mintmobile.com slash pajama. That's mintmobile.com slash pajama. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash pajama. I don't, I mean, for me, it's kind of like, if I was thinking what, it's kind of like what Vegas already has, right? Like amazing restaurants, poker, this, like girl, like, I I don't know, but let me, Jamie, you, you answer if you have one while I think about. Um, mine would be. Like you take your shoes off. You can't wear shoes inside the hotel. Like it's Mm. like so clean. It's like shag carpet, like Zen. We, there's like joints and little bowls everywhere. Mm. Oh, okay. So the theme is your house. So kids not allowed. Yeah. No adult only hotel. Mm. Wow. Okay. And, and you got, you got guys walk around in like no shoes, no sandals, no socks. I feel like the only like are the staff wears like white t-shirts and jeans and they're like and super chill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's okay. their uniform. High jeans. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Oh, you know what? Uh, we got to do something like Atlantis. Yeah. But that already kind of exists. Yeah. Right? But no, we take it to a whole other level. Oh yeah. Underwater. Aquaman. You know, right. Yeah. The whole deal. Everything's underwater. See that? Maybe that's Remember that housewives theme. where they went to Dubai and all their rooms were different rooms. And one of them was like under the sea with like sharks yeah. swimming around. That's fucking. I would love to fuck with a shark watching. Maybe that would be my, my theme. It would be old Vegas, but not like trashy old Vegas, like L like fucking, you know, the Frank yeah. Sinatra. Yeah. Uh, the fucking martini. Rat like, pack. Yeah. Like that kind of vibe. Yeah. Like a mob, cool. very mobby. You should do an OnlyFans hotel. Where? <laughs> Where do I sign? <laughs> well, what would it be? What would about it would be OnlyFans? People that come in have to have an OnlyFans, <laughs> or it's like it's just nude women. 
that you can scan with like a little barcode. You scan them and then you see them naked. And then you could tip them and then they walk you into another room. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. This is like a strip club of the future. Yeah, yeah. We got some. Imagine here. walking into a strip club. This okay, is Central Land strip club. Okay, hang club. on. And I'm just spitballing here. This is bad spitball. Hang on. It's like a strip club. You it's walk the shirts. in. shirts. Everyone's clothed. Okay. <laughs> okay. But they all have. Uh, you can stop yelling. What stop. are those barcodes called? Barcodes. No, those ones that you scan with your phone. Oh, QR codes. QR code. Everyone, every chick's got a QR code right on the center of her, you know, shirt. You can go up to her. And Human can... trafficking is illegal, and this is what this hotel is. These are all win- no. no, they're all willing participants. They're gonna Amy Carson, Nevada. This is all legal. They whorehouse fans. Shout it out to empowers Dennis. women. These are all empowered all right. women working here. That's the oldest trade in the world. Amy. I won't interrupt. Talk about it. Okay. That's all. That's my idea. You yeah, go in. Done. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Every you go woman in, has a QR code. Them. That's it. Yeah. You scan them. You can tip them. You, the money goes directly to them, you know, and then um, there are special rooms that you can go to where you can hash out deals uh, amongst two consenting adults. And I won't get into what those are. Hi, I do. Okay. This is pretty much just like a strip club, except there's um, like you're just paying them through Venmo. I think and, and it's great that like you, this you, this guy won't get into crypto. It's Apple Pay, which is crazy. Rob's been trying to get me into crypto. I don't know how since how many pods now. It's been like twenty pods. Well, in real life, I'm just constantly I trying know. to get you into crypto. I understand. Yeah, I it's get the it. Fuck fidelity. Just Any moment out. now, I'm gonna actually my 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 podcast. I'm gonna mm. give financial advice. Maybe talk about the cryptos. Got to get into Buzz, the new one, Buzz. That has nothing to do with crypto. Uh, you got to get into Spark Plug. Nope, that's all, that one's to the moon. You've got to get into uh, Buzz is an ETF. Yeah, you got to get into Ether. That one's there. You go. Now we're talking. Woo. This is not uh, financial advice. Non financial. This advice. is not financial advice, by the way. Well, I got emails. Okay, yes. let's do it. You want to do some emails? Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a high energy this one, pod. I'm loving it. <laughs> this one is uh oh speaking of OnlyFans, we got an email from OnlyFans. I just, like from I the company? This is okay. They want us to come to their platform to do our pod to have like a Remember how like OnlyFans two weeks ago said they were going to be like no more sexually explicit yes. content. And then the yeah. next yeah, day yes. they turned like they made a, a huge realized they made a huge error and then said, oop, just kidding. Um, but no, this we got this email. Kids. We got this email like a couple days before they made that announcement and they wanted us to like bring our pod to OnlyFans because they're and trying then they to emailed branch us out. again five days later. Then they emailed us again. This is the first one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they want us to read be, it. They want us to be, well, it's like a business email, but they want oh. us to be like a, a creator on their platform to make money. Um, do we want to do this? I don't think so. You I don't know? I don't think this is a move for us. Um, but if you're okay. watching this, uh, Gretchen, and, um, <laughs> you know, if, if there's just something we're not getting, you know, please. Or if you like my OnlyFans hotel idea, our OnlyFans hotel idea, please reach out. We might have to crop that out. That's a billion dollar idea right there. With the crypto, forget it. Okay, so Yami, here's here's the thing. Uh, cast too, obviously. If so, let's say not the hotel, but let's say a museum. Let's say somebody's coming to you with a museum, and they're gonna they're f- ready to fund it for you. What would you want the museum to be of? Who's coming? Who's coming to us with the idea to somebody's make a museum? Coming, they're saying, hey, we want you to do a museum. It could be of anything you want. They're giving we'll, you we'll money fund to it. fund it. So well, like there's fucking is art, obvious. dinosaurs, this. Well, uh, it's not obvious though. We thought we thought this is my problem. I boy. don't I don't have like a passion Interest? about like anything to sh- like to show in a museum. Like I'm not. I've never been. But what fanatical. about weed? No, there's and they have those. I mean, I smoke weed like once a day at night, like to chill out. Like I'm right, not. I'm just like, saying the experience, like you know, because here's here's what I would want mine to be, right? I think it would be dope to have like a uh, interactive like water museum where it okay. goes from okay. like how did we go from how we originally like drank water just like out of fucking rivers or streams or whatever to now like having a million bottles of fucking a billion bottles of Poland Spring and the whole journey of how it went from like 
Wow, Rob. Blowing down the what? What? What you do you gotta love say, Cass? water? No, I. <laughs> this is such a you idea. That's I would definitely do. Me. I would. De- mine would be interactive. Okay, here's mine. Would be. Oh, when she's itching the chin, it means it's going to be good. Here we go. Something That's a tell. That you could do when you're when you're something you would want to go stoned to if you smoke weed. But if not, it's still an awesome experience where it's super interactive in every room. I mean, they have these. I feel like. But like every room is like a different installation, whether it's like lights, whether it's like touch, like it's for all the senses. Yes. So five rooms where your one sense gets completely heightened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love it. See, I was even like, okay. this could even be like a big brother museum. You love big brother. I didn't, I have not watched one episode this season. Wow. See, we, we got really, in your head that it sucked when we were over your house and we were like, but it did suck trash? last year. It sucked last year. It sucked. And during lockdown when everything else was better, it sucked. Yeah. Unless CBS is going to, it's literally a show and, where they're in lockdown and they still somehow. I like big brother. Um, I thought last season it was my first season. I thought it was okay. CBS. If you want to contact me what for promotion, show? please, please feel free. I would love if Cassim went on like celebrity big brother. I'm too old. Would you ever do it? Reality shows. No. no, Jamie, that's why we want him to do the boxing in the next YouTube boxing thing. So we could be in his corner, like hyping him up. We could be behind him. Like he'd be on every on celebrity, the... everything. You want to know my museum idea? Please. This is a fucking, as the kid, as somebody wearing the shirt would say, this is a lit podcast. Dude, you're such a scumbag. <laughs> I love you. You're such a piece of fucking shit. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Right back at you, babe. I got a few ideas. Okay, now obviously a lot of these are shitty music. Like if you're gonna do, a, let's just get this out of the way. UFO museum, alien, the history right. of UFOs. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what would be cool as an experience. They already have those at fucking truck stops on the way to fucking exactly anywhere. But is there a version of that that like people will go out of their way to go to, not just because they're on like the ten, the ten freeway, you know? Yeah, they want beef jerky. It's like an alien selling it. Right, and I've been there several times, and I have a lot of the the product from that I place. Know. Is there something like, oh, do you have like a, a UFO simulator? You get in, and it's like a, you know, go fucking <laughs> zips you through the galaxy. Now that would be sick. What it, a, an abduction simulator? What it's yeah. like to come out of bed? Get that's fun. Get sent up right into the craft, wake up, beings all around you. But we do it right. Like we knock you out, you do drugs and you like, yeah. You, you like, and then you wake up and you forget you're even at the attraction. You get up and there's just beings like hovering over you, putting the clear wrap over you, fucking keeping your eyes open, pouring liquid in there. And you're screaming ah, ah, the whole time. And then they like ship you off and put you in this fucking capsule, like in wow. a fire in the sky, you know? And or we could do something Sounds like your first date with Lindsay, but <laughs> or we could do uh, something that's a little easier, right? Something a little more mainstream. It's a museum. Uh, it's a video game museum. OK. OK. And it Bo would love really it. History. Yeah. It takes you through the history where we came from, you know, Atari, mm-hmm. early Nintendo. Pong. Every, everything's playable. Everything's playable. Yeah. And at the very end, they put you in a mocap suit. And you get to be in your own video game. It's an additional charge. Yes. It's an additional charge. It costs two That's Ethereum. It's like the gold package. The gold package. But you get your own game. You get a custom Roblox avatar that you could play in Roblox. You know, that you can play it at home. Like right now, Bo could be playing himself as a fully realized version. There's And, and then also there's a, a museum of cinema where there's like, how? Because I've been to these Museum of Sex. Have you been to that one in New York? I know, but I used to see them. Like this is stupid. I went in there. It's kind of hot. I think there's all it is is like people like like itching to go home and fuck because right. they they show you uh, like these old French porn, like the old first oh, ever first ever pornos, you know. And it's like, damn, they were doing blowjobs like early early there, that shit was on film in the beginning we didn't just add that in the 70s you know yeah and then they take you through like different they like all kinds of toys and things like but there's a version of that for video games and movies and then where you can like go room to room and experience the history of it all everything's playable everything's watchable um i'd I do something like that but i think the ufo one now that i'm talking about it out loud would be the most fun 
so a fun. simulator. I thought so it was fun. just a cool idea until you said you take the drugs and you forget that you went and then you just wake up. That's fucking awesome. Like, you no, just you know what would be cool? It would yeah. be like a new crop of people every week check in. It's like a week long experience and you never know when you're going to get abducted. Yeah, it's like the house so in the like, lake. It yeah, could be nice like day one. Life. It could be mm-hmm. day three. It could be five. Like you, or maybe never you don't even know. get abducted. You or, know? or what could be really cool is like, have you seen Jamie? Right. And it's like, where's Jay? And then maybe the whole thing is like, only one person gets abducted, but then the squad has to like save them. So then they end up yeah. seeing the alien. Oh, Man. it's like a big like escape room slash, you know. Oh, like- and this escape rooms. Oh <sighs> yeah, dude. Me going out to the, window. T- the three see, of us are the doing sky, one. Jamie. The three of us are going to do an escape room and we're going to mic ourselves and record okay. it for this podcast. I would sit in the corner and watch it. I hate the idea of doing oh my that. God, you would so hate, fun. you would hate it. I, I did. Know. I did one. Uh, I did two of them like maybe um, two months ago and I got pr- pretty bored pretty fast. And then I just started doing bits while the other people like figured it out. Bored. Right. I did them weekly for a while. I feel like your house for a year was an escape room. Damien. <laughs> That's right. You just wanted to get the fuck out of there. For sure. Uh, Guys, you got to tell me if you want to hear this. This is a Phil from Long Island email. It is so long. No, this is insane. How could he even do this? is like a four parter. I know. But like, first of all, fellows, this is our guy, Phil. Phil, I'm trying to get you on the pod. Dude, that that that's four emails in one email. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's look, okay, Phil, you got to shorten them up. You got to make them more concise. I'm trying to get you on the show. Crazy. Buddy. I'm trying to get you on. That's my show. favorite restaurant in Long Island. Well, and he answered that. Go to that real quick. I'll just give Jamie that one. That's my favorite restaurant in Long Island, Jamie. I'm not currently in Long Island. Oh, this guy's the worst. Just get out of here. I'm sorry, not in Phil. Long Island. Phil, uh, so not the question, pal. Sorry, buddy. I tried to get you on. <laughs> Jesus, Phil. Holy shit. Um, okay. I uh, got another. Oh, no, I already read this. Jamie, one. what movie have you seen the most times? Sound of Music, I saw nine million times. Annie, I saw a lot. Goonies, I saw a lot. I've never seen uh, Sound of Music. Really? It's yeah. it doesn't hold up. I don't think you'd like it. Right. I mean, it does hold up, but I don't think you'd like it. Uh, and Forrest Gump, I've seen a lot. Really? Why Forrest Gump a lot? I don't know. It's like anytime it's on, I'll want to watch it. Plays it plays on TV a lot. Even if it's in the middle of the movie, it's like another new story like within his yeah. life. And I just, I love it so much. I just love it. it it's, it's arguably the greatest movie of all time. If you well, just were going to show, so, like we talked about this, but if you were going to show someone one film, like. Yeah, you laugh, um, you cry, you're inspired, your you're heartbroken. Yeah. Like it's all of it. Yeah. Yeah. There's AIDS. Yep. It's it's a great movie. I, I the movie I've seen the most. I'm, I know I'm not getting this right, but it's definitely has to be like the Big Lebowski has to be in the top three mm. because me and my like high school buddies would watch it. You know, for a while we were watching it like once a week, maybe once every two weeks because it was just such a phenomenon for us. But now, like I, if I see it on TV, I won't watch it because I've just seen it so many times. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but like Boogie Nights, um, I've seen that a bunch. It's kind of long. I'll tell you this: most recently, it's got to be the the Spider Man animated movie. <laughs> what? It's a it what an Oscar, Rob. Cool, dude. I'm not Bo loves Into the Spider Verse. Into the Spider Verse. Of course, Bo loves eight. it. It's not just for eight year olds. No, it's Rob. very good. It's very. Thank good. you, Jamie. By the way, he turned uh, eight. Last weekend, happy birthday! Oh, he's really <laughs> like basically birthday, seven. He loved it when he was seven. Yeah, he's okay. starting to get to that point where like I embarrass him. Oh, cool! That's I. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to have kids so I can fucking like. I can't like when I talk to him in friends. public. He's like, I'm like, no one's watching. Does he think you're uncool or something? Yeah, I would do that with my parents, like because my parents were foreign, you know, and they had an accent, and I just didn't want them to like just drop me off. A block from school. Drop me off here. I'll walk. That's what I did. I got mad at him the other day, though. We we hired a nanny because now that I'm working so much and she came over to play with the boys while I was there. And Bo was like acting like a dick. Like he was like, you know, when the kid is just in a bad mood and they're like, think they're showing off by like being a jerk. Yep. And Jack was being like an angel. And I pulled him over to the side. I was so mad at him. And I was like, just so you know, whatever you're doing right now, you don't look cool. 
this isn't because all he cares about is being cool. It's like, this is not he cool. He checked. He's like, him. is my shirt not tucked? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And he was like, okay, okay. Whoa. Yeah. You hit him in the cools. I did. I was like, I, I really hit below the belt. The with that one. <laughs> so I, I have a feeling like Jack will never give a shit about looking cool. He doesn't. Yeah. Because he's so but cool. But he does That's this thing cool. where he chip puts his hand on his hips for everything. Like if you turn to look at look at him and ask him something, he puts his hand on his hip before he answers you. It's pretty hilarious. I don't know if I like that. He's easy to love that guy. Ugh. Yeah. I was going to talk about nine inches. Uh, we, we got an email from Jeffrey. Or he goes by Jeff. He says, hello to all. I don't know how I stumbled upon this show, but it's really good. And, and now I watch every episode. I think all three of you are funny. Casman, Rob, you have great comedic timing. Keep up the great work. He has the same name as an incredible singer. I'm not going to say his last I name. I know. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I was surprised to find out Jamie's married with kids to someone eight years her junior. You know it. Ten in not the bed. I, not Gu- while I have the shirt on. Guys, do you? Guys do this all the time, but women, not so much guys do this all the time, but women, not so much. Yeah. Mary younger. Is it ever strange for Jamie to know that when she turned 18 and was ready to graduate high school, her future husband was not even 10 years old. Yeah. Yet? We talk Thank about you, it. And I love yes. We talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Robin Cutter Cable. likes to say he's 32 on paper. He's the old, he's like 90 years older than I am. Did you hear that? Speaking of Jamie Robin the Cradle, did you did you hear that the Nirvana baby is suing? Yeah, dude, you, fuck this kid. By the way, fuck this kid. He's like, you know what he said? That like, because I was like, oh, this is. So, and then I was reading it, and he was like, sometimes when I'm, I go to like a baseball game or something, I look around in, in the whole stadium, and I go, everyone in this stadium has seen my penis. Oh my god. <laughs> what are your thoughts on it, Jamie? Because I think I know Castle. Fucking bullshit. What the hell? By the way, this kid has recreated this photo, the album cover, like six or seven times as he's been growing up. Like, he's like, hey, like, here's me as like like 10. Here's me 15. Here's me as 20 doing it in the pool. And he's been like, he's been getting something from it. So he was running out of getting things from it and now wants more money from it. So he's suing. What the hell? He's. He he seems like uh, a guy a who's listener. Yeah, <laughs> he, if he is, like it's like, dude, appreciate you listening to the podcast, but you are uh, too late to be suing the band. Yes, and it is for me. I think everyone would trade everyone seeing my tiny baby dick <laughs> for the fact that you were on the most iconic yes. rock album cover. Yes, almost ever. You know, yes. definitely of the nineties. Yes. Think of how many covers you can look at and immediately identify what album, right. what band it is. Yep. You were you were that kid. Yep. And sure, we see the tip of your baby dick. So what? So what? Hopefully it grew, but you're acting like it stayed the same size. Enjoy it, dude. Use it to fucking, I'm sure if you didn't use it to like get puss, you don't think some girl slept with you and so she could tell her friends I slept with the baby. That sounds weird. I slept with the guy who used to be the baby on the Nirvana album. I slept with the baby from Nirvana. I slept with the, Jamie. Uh, so me and Cassa met up at like whatever, <laughs> one o'clock to go uh, shopping and fucking driving around. And uh, he ran out of caffeine. So that's why he's got this. This, this I know piece. the big yeah. bang. He's drinking yeah. it. Right. And, but when we got home, he was like, if I, he was shaking. He's like, if I don't get uh, soon. And then he got this and now he's like, he's fucking superstar cast. How many Ever caffeine drinks I, do you have a day? I have too much. Well, since I started at G4, my caffeine consumption has doubled. Oh no. Yeah. I do one of these every day. We have, a, are you a counterbalancing with water? Yeah. Mm, I'm just weird. asking. I'm not criticizing. No, I don't drink enough water. I don't drink. How, so answer Jamie's question. Except How, Rob. Boom. Come to my museum. You'll leave. Uh, come quenched. to the water museum. You'll leave quenched. What? Tell me what. You I, will get wet at the water museum. You didn't answer Jamie. How many caffeine drinks do you have a day? I have a uh, a tall thermos of coffee, like a Yeti thing like this of coffee in the morning. Black. And then with a splash of oat milk. Thank you. Oh. And on the way to work, I'll usually grab a Starbucks. Mobile order in and out. Highly recommend it. What's the order? Um, it's either just another coffee or it's like a, a oat milk 
latte, espresso. Still no food. No, I don't eat until just straight no. acid into your stomach of just Pure nonstop acid. Coffee. Yeah. 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 Do you diarrhea in the, every morning? No, I have like solid snakes. Do you diarrhea? <laughs> do you diarrhea date? Every day, do you diarrhea? Do you diarrhea? The uh, best. I no, I have very healthy coils, nice pile. Um, and then at, on show days, I'll have a energy drink like this or a rain before the show. Without and then, food still. <laughs> Hold on, Jamie. And no, no, then, that's usually and that's usually it. A couple days I would have that, and then I have a Red Bull, a small Red Bull, sugar free. Wow, it's a lot. No, I know. I need to. I need to relax a little bit. I feel like whenever I see you, you're drinking a caffeine drink. Yeah. Yes, because same. we're always doing a show, a podcast. No, we're not. Yeah, always. What are you talking about? I like to have a, I like to get a little buzz. It's how I get a buzz. Oh, listen, I, I'm all for you, but you got to be able to admit what you're doing, babe. Who's admitting it more than me right now? Well, I, I, I raised my hand. I think I you're under uh, selling the amount of. No, I'm not. I'm telling you exactly okay. the exact amount. Yeah, what do you think? Before. And then I come home and I have more coffee or something. I think you need to calm down. Oh, bro, I'm on edge right now. <laughs> yeah, usually that's me. Usually I'm the fucking... We just went shopping. We got a high from shopping. You know, well, you get the... a little buzz. What'd you shopping. buy? We What'd got you some buy? clothes. We went to fucking 14 stores and we each didn't buy a single thing. And then... Yeah, we found... Kasim's like, I'm going to go to the car and get... Oh, I was like, there's a place to pee. Uh, Sweet Green. Shout out to Sweet Green. They always let people use the bathroom. Love that place. There's a, there's a bathroom. Sweet Green. I'm like, I'm going to go there. He's like, oh, I'll grab the car, pick you up. As he's going back, he's like, I've just found exactly what I've been looking for this whole time in this store. And he's like, come meet yeah. me here. It was called Rourke, right? Yeah. Was that it? Yeah. And in I, Venice? Uh, no, we were on like uh, Fairfax, La, La Brea. It was. Near oh, Fairfax. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I go to meet him and we walk in this store and I bought 10 shirts. Incredible. You, sound, you found one you liked and you just went all. You just you find went, yeah. the material and the size and the fit fits good. You just start buying every color. Well, tell them. To tell them, tell them what you said that I shop like. Well, I don't remember what you said. I, I shop like a blind man. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's he shops feeling... like a blind man because he's just there feeling fabric, you know. Because if I feel he's got something, big old cataract glasses on, he's just. If I feel something and it's not extremely soft, I don't even need to look at what it is because it would just. It, there's no point. I need no. like ridiculous. Yeah, feel that. That's what they I say know, that... but this is like almost like a plastic. It doesn't breathe. They yeah. say that the the more expensive and soft material you put on your body, the more you love yourself. And they like spiritually awakened. This guy, this guy loves himself so hard. No. Tessa was like mad at me last week. Cause I don't like to wear underwear. I like to wear these like bamboo shorts under my shorts. Yeah, like, I was what? mad. He's like, what is this? And he's like, what do you mean? He's been it. wearing those forever. We've talked about this since day one. I thought he just wore them at home. He's been wearing them to my house. All right, well, what are we doing here that we're just podding? It's fine. It's yeah, no, no, but then not only did I say, oh, those are the bamboo shorts that I did. And you were like, that's what underwear are for. Like you were you were a little you're pushing. It me. is kind of what underwear is for. But I, you don't think I know what underwear are for? I don't know if you know, because you've been wearing those shorts underneath. They um, pop out the bottom of your regular shorts. I know I can't. I'm not going to uh, hem them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing underwear right now because underwear go with these fucking things. But when I wear shorts and I'm coming over, here what to kind do of nothing, underwear? What kind of underwear? Uh, I, I love, I, the, buy them I love the ones that you got me for Christmas. The Lululemon are amazing. Uh, I think, I don't know if I'm wearing them it's now, all but I, I wear, yeah, they're amazing. They're great. That's what cutter wears too. The Lululemons. I don't know what they're putting in there, but it's the softest underwear. Bo really likes, Bo really likes the stance ones. Yeah. And they're really comfortable. Like they're yeah, really, these guys soft. make so they make socks and then they yeah. started making undies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They have some fun prints. So yeah, Yami, I'm going to tell you uh, this store. I'll send you a link. You got to order some T-shirts. The T-shirts okay. are the softest T-shirts. OK, uh, by the way, this is not an ad at all. I, we just found this place. Uh, and I I just like and it wasn't one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm going to get this in every color of this. I've done that before. It was more like I have 10 totally different shirts just yeah. in different colors, but they're all like, they're all like those old concert t-shirts that are like super soft. Super soft. Oh, by the way, we went to Fred Siegel today. Oh, this fucking store. Okay. We go in and it's been a Rob's, long time since I've been inside of Fred Siegel. Yeah. By the way, the guys there, 
are uh, the, the quote unquote salesman, like can't wait for you to leave so they can just get back to like just leaning on the counter and not doing it. <laughs> it's just next to K-I-T-H. That's why we went. We would never like go out of our way to go to Fred's. Never. We, he had to clarify. We yeah. would never go out of our way to shop at a Fred Siegel. We were next not. to Kith. And we went there. I'm starting to get annoyed that I say K-I-T-H now. I need to call it something else. Kit H. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't just say Kif. Well, listen to this pod and then find out. Look <sighs> at Jamie's fucking face. She's so I hate dry. it. She's I so hate dry. it. Yeah, so do I. We go to what we go to the, the uh, little t-shirt area inside the Fred Siegel. Fun, fun shirts, right? Oh. A lot of nice. The softest. It was like you know so the extensive? fabric you can see through, like it's so worn you can yes. see through it. Yes. Uh, four hundred dollars. Like leopard. More than twice that. There was a Beavis and Butthead shirt. You could barely see the print on it. It was like so faded. I'm like, I don't know if they're making these or if they're actually really old. Vint, they have to be making them. A thousand dollars for the T-shirt. Yeah, there so, was one. So we each bought one. Yeah, imagine there was there was one that was like when you would go, oh, shout out to Yami Lee. When you do Beauty and the Beast on Broadway and you could buy like the T-shirt after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was that T-shirt, but it was extremely soft Worn. stuff. Nine hundred dollars. Yeah. Crazy. And and they're just all. Oh, my God. Not even for That's us. That's just for people TV that stars. have too much money and like literally don't know how to spend it. It is. It has to be like women. With uh, sunglasses coming in, like just like shopping bags on each arm, and then they go, mm, "Yes, I'll take it," yeah. and they just <laughs> toss it on the salesman, and then they go, "Uh," and they go, "Ma'am, it's this much," and then she just pulls out a card, it's like a platinum card, and just swipe it, and they leave. They never look at the bill, you know, like somebody their accountant handles it. Yeah. They just go home with the shirts. No Terrible. one could ever spend a thousand dollars on a Beavis and Butthead T-shirt. You'd have to wear it every day. But when we left, I said to Cass, if you were a billionaire, would you have walked out of there with T-shirts? Yeah, I would have because they were the fucking softest shirts I've ever seen. But I remember. Your yeah, but you that probably wash no. them a couple of times and they start no, falling apart. I didn't say that. What are you talking about? I thought the answer to that question was no. No, your answer was no. Huh. My answer was, of course, if, if, if money was huh. no object, I would have grabbed a couple of those shirts because they were like the most comfortable shirts ever. Oh, yeah. Especially I fucking I, I wouldn't want I just wouldn't want to wear like there are a lot of them are like Judas Priest, you know, Def Leopard. There's a lot of that. I'm like, it's like band shirts. That's exactly what I said. I was like, I'd be buying them just to wear around my crib. Right. Remember that quote? Yeah, you did say he did. Yeah. Say that. Fucking questioning me. Right. And the pod. Right after we left Kiss, he said that. And the pod. Look, that's I'm uh, about to hang up. Well, yeah, that's an episode. Um, hey, is that a shirt joke? We didn't do any dating profiles. We gave you guys. We like, actually two didn't really break. read any emails either. No, uh, but oh, we changed our look, outfits. Here's yeah. a quick email. I do want to have one email. OK, OK, here's one email. That way we can say we did an email and then we'll wrap up the show. We did an email. Right now, the only fans one. This one's from Luke it says, hi, guys. How are you all doing? Really enjoy the Sopranos. Great no, the show. Jeff guys email we did okay let me just get through i'm just letting you know hi guys how are you all doing really enjoyed the sopranos great show it was i took to the show few episodes in my dad okay good thing we got to this email babe oh luke talk i gave you i gave you and philip a shot to be on the show you guys could philip shorten the emails make them shorter i'll read them luke your spell check grammar check do all that it was i took to the show few episodes in my dad originally <laughs> God, you wow. sound like you're having a stroke yeah pal no not even you can make it sound right all right no. guys ask pajama pants at gmail.com if you send us an email i don't mind if there's a few typos but like the sentence has to like <laughs> look how much how many words we said and it still made zero sense we weren't even getting towards <laughs> making sense that's it uh, um, I hope you guys talk to this show. I hope you guys are talking to this show. You're my best talk. You guys are my best talk. Shout out, Ed. <laughs> and um, we are, I don't know what episode number this is. 104, I think. 104. Oh, wow. Can you believe it? Oh, wow. by the way, wait, 104. This is our uh, two-year anniversary. Happy anniversary, ah, guys. Happy anniversary. Two. It's a fucking math We've brand. been doing this for two years. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We're uh, Pajama Pants Podcast on Instagram. We have a TikTok, Pajama Pants Podcast. We are lighting up the Zoomer generation with our TikToks. 
We have a subreddit. Jamie and I are on social media on Instagram and Twitter. Rob is off the grid. I haven't had sugar in five days since we recorded our last hey. pod. No sugar, not even banana, fruit, nothing, zero. Because I left Kasim's fucking place and I went insane, just yeah. eating, uh, just uh, insane. I don't know why I did that. Make sure you visit Rob's pawn shop that he now owns. Yeah, you know, or his used cars. You know, used yeah, car more of that, or like that. That I, I saw. I look like the owner of the guy who owns that strip club with the fucking QR codes. Yes. on the chest. Yeah, you you know what I mean? Yeah, I scan our you. scan our girls. Yeah, what are you looking for? I could get it for you. Um. Yeah, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll see you in one hundred and five.